Tell the math lady. Today we're talking about reducing units before multiplying. Now I know you've already learned how to reduce numbers before multiplying, right? I mean, look, here we could do a cross, we could do eight times one equals eight, we could do one times two is two, but if we reduce before multiplying, we see the two and the eight go into each other, we are simply left with a four times one and it's four. Now, that's an easy problem, but when we have these really big numbers, it makes our life easier to reduce first. So how does this apply to problems with measurement or units? Hmm, take a look. What if I had traveled eight miles in one hour? And then I said, well, what would happen if I wanted to travel for four hours? So I'm going to multiply that by four hours. Okay, well, guess what? We can also cancel units just the way we cancel numbers. I've got an hour here on the bottom, and I've got hours on the top. I've just canceled the hour with the hour. Now I am left with eight miles times four. So eight times four is 32, and what's my label that's left? My label is miles. So which means if I walked for four hours, I would have traveled 32 miles. What if I could make three baskets in one minute? How many baskets could I make in five minutes? Well, let's cancel the units, okay? We're gonna cancel out the minute and the minutes. Doesn't matter that there's an extra S there, there's still minutes. And what are we left with? We have three, let's circle for you. What's left is a three, a basket, and a five, right? A one is there, but everything over one is just that number. So three times five is 15 baskets. It means that if I can make three baskets in one minute, I can make 15 baskets in five. What about this? I make $8 in one hour. How much could I make in six hours? Let's cross out the units. Hours to hours, and I'm left with eight, dollars and a six. Eight times six is forty-eight dollars is what I have. Okay, pretty simple. Just as you can uh, cross out numbers to reduce, you can cross out units as well and then it makes the problem really easy to see what the answer is. Okay, I've got a bunch of practice problems for you ready to go on the site, so get to it. I'll see you next time. Bye!